All right, guys, I decided to strip the finish off my K98 stock. And this is kind of controversial. Some people think uh, you're ruining the value of your gun if you strip off the finish. But this is a Russian refurb, and they just shellacked the stocks. Kind of slapped it on with a broom, pretty much. So the finish isn't real nice to begin with. And this, this gun is something I'm not buying as an investment. I bought it to enjoy and enjoy the looks of it too. So I don't really like the way this uh, shellac is kind of crappy. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> refinish this. When I went down to the uh, hardware store, found some stripper. It's a furniture refinisher. And it says it gently dissolves old finishes preserves the wood's original color and character. That's kind of what I'm looking for. If I could just strip off that shellac, keep everything else intact. <coughs> um, yeah, right here it says shellac. It'll take off. Kind of toxic. Danger, poison, you know. So that's why I'm out in the garage today. So I got some steel wool. I just went in the basement from a previous project. Got a pair of these heavy green gloves. Some glasses on. Cardboard on the floor. And it says to use a glass or metal container to put the stuff in. So it must dissolve plastic. So you get a shot of the uh, stock how it looks beforehand. And I'm going to get to work on this then. Yeah, here's what we got so far. This stuff is like uh, just basically a solvent. And it sure dissolves that uh, shellac pretty quick. Rubs right off with the steel wool. Um, <clears throat> so you can see here's part with shellac on it still. Here's the wood. Lightened it up quite a bit. Taking all that shellac off. And it stripped the paint off of the uh, Fender pen tool here. Alright, I put a little uh, tongue oil onto the stock just so you can see what the difference is with and without the tongue oil. It's pretty dramatic. I haven't, I haven't put any stain on this. So I figure whatever <coughs> finish or stain was underneath that shellac with this uh, furniture stripper I used. It's supposed to leave all the the uh, original finish underneath, so I figured I'd just uh, put some tongue oil on, see how it looks. So <clears throat> there's a little contrast there. That red glue really pops. It uh, shows up a lot better with that uh, tongue oil. But it's pretty wet now, so I'm going to put a coat of this on, let it dry for a while, buff it and uh, see how it looks. <clears throat> it says to put at least two coats on of the tongue oil, so you gotta wait 24 hours between coats. Alright, here's the finished product with the K98. Put on three coats of tongue oil. It has a little bit of gloss to it. But it's, sort of, it's sort of a semi-gloss finish, more or less. And I'll post up some pictures <clears throat> after this of what it looked like with the uh, shellac the Russians put on it. So what I did just took off the shellac and all the original finish underneath was still intact and I didn't do any sanding so there's still some uh, dents and dings in the, in the wood and dark spots. So it still has the original character. You can see it's been through the war, but without all the Russian shellac. 